Good Morning America Sunday for February 14 with Bill Ritter and Dana King. Good Morning America, I'm Dana King. And I'm Bill Ritter. Welcome to Good Morning America Sunday. Show plays a mean pinball. Has pinball made a comeback in the post-Pac-Man generation? Pinball games now account for 39% of the $7.5 billion amusement game market. It's a gathering of pinball wizards, a championship gathering, in fact. It's the third annual Pro and Amateur Pinball Association Championship taking place in the Grand Ballroom of the Park Central Hotel in New York. And who better to be our Good Morning America Sunday special correspondent covering the event than a pinball wizard in his own right, actor Michael Cerverus, who's performing the role of Tommy, the pinball wizard, in an upcoming Broadway musical based, of course, on the rock opera Tommy. Michael, hello there. Good morning. Good what's, morning. what's going on? Well, I've, I figured, I got up this morning on Valentine's morning, I thought, what better way to celebrate Valentine's Day than by coming down to the World Series of Pinball. And if you've ever been in an arcade first thing in the morning, you definitely know the definition of wide awake. Um, we're going to come and meet the reigning pinball champion, Mr. Rick Stetta. How you doing, Rick? Hey, I'm doing really well. Good. Now, how long have you been playing pinball? I've been playing for 22 years, 17 years, seriously. And how'd you get started? I got started when I spotted a pinball machine in a bowling alley and knew that I wanted to play pinball. Now, how many hundreds of quarters do you think you've uh, invested in learning to play pinball? I have no idea. It's countless. Now, you have a, a collection of machines, I understand. Is that right? Yes, I do. I have a total of 21 machines, ranging from 1975 to present. Now, I've got a, a couple questions, uh, pinball wizard quiz. Just want to want to see how you fare on this. Uh, don't hear no distractions. Don't uh, hear those buzzers and bells. Can't see the lights of flash and play by sense of smell. Is that right? No, that's that's not true. That's the lyrics of a song tied in with the movie and all, and there's no reality to it whatsoever. We depend on our sight and the sounds and everything else to play these. Now... Now, how much how much of the game do you think is uh, skill and how much would you say is luck? I believe as well as most of the pinball players that the pinball game is 75% skill and 25% luck. So we can go either way based on the luck because there's a significant amount of it. Do uh, you think you could uh, show us a little bit of your, uh, your finesse here? Sure. The first shot on this machine, you try to get the flashing value at the top. That A up there. So I'll start with that. I missed that. Okay, well, we'll leave you to, uh, to get yourself together here for the rest of the, the match. Okay, good talking to you. You too. Okay, now we're, uh, we're going to talk to Rick's wife, Barbara. Barbara, how are you this morning? Just fine, thank you. Now, I understand that uh, you and Rick have a, a bond that, that goes back to pinball in a deep way. Yes, we started playing pinball together when we first met. That was our first date, was out to play pinball. I got to play his free games that he'd racked up on the machine. Now, see, that is, that is definitely a, a, a love story for Valentine's Day, that he gave his free games to his future bride. That's right. <laughs> now, do you find any particular problems playing from a wheelchair? Is it an advantage or a disadvantage? Well, there, there's advantages and disadvantages. I, I can't see the upper play fields quite as well as other people, but I get to see the flippers better. And that's where you control the ball from, so that's important. So you get kind of a pinball eye view that way. That's right. Great. Well, good luck and have a good time. Thank you very much. Now we're going to move on to meet the reigning under-16 champion, Mr. David Savinsky. How are you doing, David? Good. Now, how long have you been playing pinball? Uh, my whole life, practically. All your, your years and years of life so far? Yeah. Now, how did you get started? Uh, well, my dad's in the business, and we had, like, pinball games in our basement. So I just played whenever I can. So you didn't have to use your allowance to learn to play pinball? Nah. Do you think you could, uh, you could give me some tips here and teach me how to play? Sure. Okay, why don't you hang on to this? Okay. So, uh, so what do I need to know here? Well, you should try and get the ball up that ramp just enough so you can hit it into the waterfall down here. Okay. First I need to get a ball though. Yeah. Okay. Why, first of all, why am I not getting any ball? There we go. There you go. Okay, so I need to get it like about up to there. Yeah, pull about halfway. Uh, a little okay. too hard. Yeah. So, and 
What do I need to know about uh, about body language here? Well, when it's going down the side or down the middle, shake it a lot. Shake it a lot. Mike, can you hear me? Slide it down the right turn. Mike, can you uh, can you hear me there? Why don't you grab the mic there for a second? I I don't want to put you down, Mike, but it looks like. You're not exactly a pinball wizard, even though you play one on TV. <laughs> and on the stage. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I've got a little more practicing to do, and I think I've got the right guy to teach me. I think you do, too. Mike Service, thanks a lot for uh, giving us a little behind-the-scenes look at the pinball wizard, what he does on a Sunday. So, yeah, that's right. This is, this is the training for your basic pinball wizard.